Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I am hoping to stop failing. Last time we had a couple of attempts at running with Magdalene, and they were both, both attempts were almost good. It just got held up at the end there. Um, just, you know, it just fell apart one way or the other. Um, I'm going to play it as just random character again. All right, Samson. I wasn't paying attention to whether we need to go to one place or the other with Samson. We got 99 bombs. That's an interesting start. I have so many bombs now. Samson is an interesting character. They have completely revamped how Samson's bloody lust works which is the one item that Samson starts with. It's a passive ability. Now, it appears, when Samson gets hit, uh, he gets a damage increase for the rest of the floor. And he can be hit several times and therefore get a fairly large damage boost for the entire rest of the floor, which is really interesting. Not entirely sure why. Yeah, we'll just take that hit. <clears throat> I, I wanted the, uh, the damage boost. That was intentional, right? Sure. Not really. I wish it was. Also, just do that. Just do that. I have so many bombs. Uh, also, I've taken a couple hits, so you can see Samson's turning a little red. That's the bloodlust rage effect in action there. Also, my aim is atrocious. And you guys. I did not like this room. Were there any tinted rocks? Doesn't look like it. Don't have a key, can't go into the shop even if I wanted to. I don't really want to because I don't have any money. Uh, safety cap increases the drop rate for pills. Sure, why not? It's a fun thing. It's more fun if we get like PhD or something that actually makes pills better, but eh, this could be good too. Larry Jr. I'll use the High Priestess. She's gonna kill both of them, apparently. <laughs> that was pretty swift. Cool. More HP, that's good. Um, it's an empty container, though, which is interesting. And before we go down to the next floor, I'm gonna do something. This might be really, really stupid. Here, we're gonna check here for the secret room real quick because I have more bombs than I know what to do with. Secret room is really tricky to find on the first floor. It's not usually where you would expect it to be, so I, that's why I don't usually bother. Uh, we're gonna go to the curse room, though. Two black hearts, that's actually really good. And you can see, because I keep taking hits, I'm getting redder and redder. Angrier and angrier, more and more damage. I think it reflects on my damage stat. Yeah, we're up to four damage. Like, that's, that's good. It's a lot. Big number. And we'll just move on to the next floor. Still want to beat that timer. One of these days, it's going to happen. Probably not today. Probably not with this run. Don't have any keys. Actually, that might be a bit of a problem, considering I would love to get into our item room. Mm -hmm. Really want to start trying to get key drops. I have absolutely no influence over it, but if I wish for it hard enough, maybe it'll happen. Right? That's how video games work. Fairly easy room there. Look at that. We got another bomb. That's awesome. I did not have enough bombs. It's, I was just thinking, you know, I could really use another bomb. Take the soul heart. Don't have a key, again. This is bad. I really hope that we don't end up having to leave behind an item room. That's never a good thing to do. Bomb around. I was hoping that would be the secret room, because then we could have bombed our way up into the item room. So there's a pill drop, a couple pill drops. So speed up, that's actually pretty good. Pheromones, which is also pretty good. 
And no keys. This is worrying. Ow. I feel like I've gotten to the point in my Binding of Isaac Rebirth career where I should not be taking damage from Dingle. Dingle is a fairly easy boss. You gotta watch the faces. He really telegraphs all of his attacks. So I'm really glad I didn't take damage there. Um, I always feel really bad when I do take damage from Dingle. Oh, that was really stupid. Oh, boy. Well, I cleared out the rest of the room, and my damage is now going to be kind of ridiculous. All right. Hey, we get Mom's coin purse. Lots of pills. Please be good pills. Nope. Oh, more speed. That's fine. Whatever. And health down. That's like the worst. Oh, my gosh. We have so many crappy pills. I love the pact. I like both of these items. Is it worth taking both of them? Sure. This run's probably not going anywhere, but we'll take both of them. So, damage up, which is really good. And we shoot death scythes, which is good. And I didn't get the item room on that floor, so... And we, we no longer have any actual red heart containers. Huh. Scratch that. The Halo all stats up, so I do have Red Heart Container now. This is absolutely worth it. We'll see how this goes. So the scythes, I picked these up in the last video for the first time ever. The faded Maggie run didn't really turn out so well for me. Um, scythes pierce through enemies, just like Cupid's arrow, like the, or um, push pin, or lasers, brimstone, technology, those sorts of things. It's pretty interesting. Uh, and I think they were also a damage up, if I'm not mistaken. I forget. Ah, this room looks familiar. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, Halo gave us all stats up, so that's why I have health again. I can see forever is awesome. It lets us find these secret rooms. Sure, you know what? We'll use a couple bombs on these jokers. Not exactly how I wanted that to work out, but whatever. Sacrifice room, not worth dealing with. Let's go left. Super Pride. I don't think we've fought Super Pride before, have we? I mean, he's just as easy as regular Pride. Ooh. Oh, man. Nine lives. I only have a single red heart. I don't know. Do I take nine lives? Uh, we only have a single red heart, so I'm not really losing anything. Um, nine lives drops your HP down, so you only have a single red heart. Gives you nine lives, but each time you come back, you're in the same state. A single red heart, nothing else. That hurt. Oh, bad. I don't know. It's a very, it's a very interesting item. <laughs> Tough love. Tooth shot. So, periodically, one of our attacks will be a tooth. Yeah, you can see him there. And the tooth does something ridiculous, like five times damage or something. Like, they, it's super beefy. It's a decent item. I don't know. I'm not super in love with it, but... We've gotten it a couple times in recent videos. Health up. Thank goodness. That's awesome. Okay, we needed that. Yeah, more damage is always good. Oh man, I don't know why I just stood there and took that like an idiot. Um, by the way, I should point out something I realized I haven't really mentioned yet. The scythes, because they pierce through enemies, they don't inflict any knockback. So I'm never going to actually be pushing enemies away from myself with the, these, uh, these scythe tiers. So that can be a bit of a problem. It's something I really need to be conscious of. Just... Just because... 
Oh man. Bad gas. Worthless pill. Um, something that I just need to be conscious conscious of because I'm used to you know normal tears, high fire rate, pushing enemies away. And that is not going to be happening now. I'm not going to take that. Polycephalus. I don't think this will be a difficult boss. Our damage is ridiculous. Partially because I took a fair bit of damage on this floor. Cool, more HP. That's interesting. Krampus. This will be really interesting. If we get Krampus's head, that would be just awesome. Great damage increase to have. We get coal, of course. Uh, coal's still good. Lump of coal. It's my Xmas present. Um, you can see my size. I, I think you can see that. They're getting larger as they get away from me. Um, so your tiers get larger and do more damage the further they go, the longer they're in the air. So, not bad. Not a bad little item. Uh, that applies to my tooth shot periodically as well. Just curious, my damage in kind of our resting state is pretty good. Probably thanks to the Pact. The Pact is a really good item. Gives you two soul hearts and a pretty hefty damage increase. It is honestly one of my favorite deal with the devil items. Oh, that was really bad. Didn't mean to use that. Oh my gosh. This is awful. There's so much crap on the screen. I hate these enemies. All right, well, I'm murdering them when they finally pop their heads up, but... At what cost? That was awful. Oh my gosh, my timing is so bad. Luckily, all that really, really stupid damage that I've been taking means lots of bloody lusts. Uh, lots of rage. Lots of, lots of red power. So that's something. Gotta look at the positive side to these. My speed is pretty good. I'm actually happy about that. My speed on the Magdalene runs was not very good, and I was sad with my inability to dodge. Oh, thank you for giving me a heart. That's awesome. Hey buddy, you wanna pop your head up? I love that we can one-shot these enemies. That's awesome. Yeah, do I care about getting into the shop? Maybe. Let's see if we can wreck Mega Fatty here real quick. This should be a really quick fight. My damage is insane right now. Um, Soul Heart. Magic 8 Ball is either tears up or shot speed up or both. I forget. It'll give us a tarot card. It might give us a Soul Heart. I forget. I'm I'm really rusty with some of these items. Um, I'm going to go use the Curse Room before we do anything. While I have Red Hearts that can be replenished. Let's go check out this room also. Oh, our item room. Durr. Herper durr. I totally forgot about that. So look how much damage I'm doing. My tears are outrageous. Ha 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 Three dollar bill. Rainbow tears. So we get a random tear effect for like each time we enter a room. What is that? My reflection? That's actually really interesting with lump of coal because our tears are going to get enormous. Look at the size of those things. This is kind of cool. Ghost tears. Okay, I'm, I'm like actually really excited for this item combo. Um, yeah, we'll not deal with that just yet. We'll uh, we'll go into the curse room in a moment here. Ah. Nope, not good. Something gave me a red heart there. Okay. 
have no idea what that would be that gave me that red heart. Uh, let's use a bomb here and see if this is the secret room to our left. It is. Three cents. It is now going to be worthwhile to visit the shop. Let's just bomb our way in since I have a million bombs. Uh, do I know what this is? Is that fanny pack, maybe? It might be. I'm going to take the soul heart. Um, HP is my biggest concern right now. So I'm playing kind of like a chump. So, okay, shot speed up. The hermit teleports us into the shop. Uh, soul heart, thank you. Good to go. Next floor. Are we still ahead of the timer? I think we're kind of falling behind. It's okay. My damage is not going to be as outrageous on this floor as it was on the previous. But it's still good. And when I inevitably get hit again... Oh, double shot for this room. That's kind of cool. When I inevitably get hit again on this floor, um, our damage will go up. Ringworm. Kind of fun. Just really goofy. Not going to stick with it, though. Do not like masks and hearts. Do not like at all. Are we? We must be on the necropolis, then. Oh, dang it. Yeah, Necropolis one. Well, that room could have gone better. This room could have gone better. Blackheart, do like, health down pill, no thank you. Oh, do we have, like, triple shot or something right now? Yeah, we do. That's awesome. Our damage is kind of ridiculous with this combo. I am I am actually, like, really enjoying this run so far. Double shot again, I think? Maybe? No? I can't tell. No, I don't think it's double shot. I have no idea what our tier effect is right now. Ooh, do like the nickel, though. Dang it. Oh, petrifying tears. That's awesome. Going to the item room. Is that the common cold? I think that's common cold. Yeah, poison damage. So every now and then we will shoot a green poison tear, which is pretty good. Um, I'm going to use the hermit. It'll teleport us to the shop. Uh. All right. Okay, that's exactly what I was hoping for. So mom's key, and then spend the other three on getting another soul heart. That's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Petrifying tears again. This is awesome. Uh, also, our tears can pierce through the masks, which is really, really great. Just because that's what the scythes can do. They pierce through things. I am kind of digging it. Uh, let's blow up some of these guys and see if we can get some tarot cards, because that would be nice. Oopsies. Well, wiped out those enemies. And we did get one. The tower. Paratoma. Went down real easy. The uh, red explodey flies. Also should go down fairly easily. We can fight the boss. Is there anything else I care about on the floor? We found the item room. We found the shop. The bloat. Here, have some bombs. Or not. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm taking so much damage here. Bloodlust is kicked into full gear, though. And we have double tears. That was nuts. More speed, more damage. I love the damage. Our damage is just off the chain here. Um, Horror Babylon actually might be really good because I have... Thank you for teleporting us to the Devil Room, Red Chest. Um, because I have... Uh, nine lives. Oh, man. This might be really dumb. Yeah, I don't like Guppy's Hairball. I'm getting it because it's a Guppy item, and also because now we're perpetually going to be in Whore Babylon state. Which means way more damage. So let's go. How are we doing on time? 
still ahead. Don't know how long that's gonna last, though. Yeah, I don't want to do that. All right. <clears throat> Only real goal right now, find the item room. Don't care about anything else. Item room and boss room. Oh, and now shop, because we have a bunch of cash. Oh, I have an ice I can see forever pill. When did I grab that? Uh, I don't want to be here for very long. Take my keys. Give me chests. Oh, they're not like. Halo of flies. That's awesome. All right, I'm really starting to enjoy this run. Not liking this room, though. Do not like. Crap. Well, that's really not good. Uh, let's just go up here. A couple of Larry Juniors. This should be a really quick room. Super worried about my HP, though. Pheromones. <laughs> the hollow. You... <laughs> You were gonna die so fast. You did die so fast. I don't like this room. Although things are dying really, really quick, which is just fantastic. I don't think we're gonna get to and beat Mom in a minute. Kill each other, please. Thank you. Oh boy. Really would love to finally figure out one of these days what that timer is all about. Doesn't seem like it's gonna happen today, though. Robo Baby 2.0, we worked out all the kinks. What does that mean? You rush at things, or do you just you patrol on your own? Oh, what a horrible night! Oh, why did Horror Babylon not activate until we got down to half a red heart? I thought it activated at a full red heart. Apparently not. Apparently I was mistaken on that front. So Robo Baby 2.0 just like patrols. Oh, I move him with my... Oh, it's like the Ludovico technique. I move him with my fire buttons. And he just shoots on his own. Sure, I'll take the rosary bead. Faith up. Um, we'll buy the key. We'll donate a bunch of cash, too. We're past the 20-minute mark, which is unfortunate. By a bunch of cash, I meant two. Two pennies. So I'm just gonna, like, ignore RoboBaby 2.0 and hope that he occasionally does something useful. Bummer, I actually felt really good about this run. I was hoping we would hit the timer. That's such a shame. Um, yeah, we're gonna take the Polaroid. We're gonna go deal with the chest. That's kind of my goal. I feel fairly confident with that goal. I say that, but I also completely forgot that we have to go through the womb slash utero first. Oh, that was awful. Loki, you're super easy to deal with. Chubb, you are a pushover with piercing tears, which luckily I have. All that for a bomb. Oh well. That's the sort of room that I like. Uh, 
I have the weird, like, short range tears. That's that's such a weird tear effect. Hello. I'm just gonna let Robo Baby deal with these things. What a weird item. I'm really weirded out by Robo Baby 2.0. This is cool, though. I'm digging this run. We've got some really interesting new stuff. I really like these... Oh, dang it. Death's Touch. I forget where it came from. I'm assuming we did something to unlock it. I'm really digging it. It's pretty awesome. Here, we'll use a couple bombs. Hope that we get a Tinted Rock, although it's not very likely. Petrifying Tears. $3 bill is awesome. It's still one of my favorite items in the game. It's just, it's so strange. It's so goofy. I really dig it. Uh, what is that? Health up. I don't mind if I do. Ooh, I almost took a hit there. Sure, I'll take a key. Take half a red heart. That's fine. Daddy Long Legs! I think we have fought you once so far in this game. You're a Wrath of the Lamb boss. Kind of scary, because you do the stompy stomp. But, uh, not that bad of a boss. Oh, and spiders. You cough up lots of little spiders. Oh, and we're in this phase now. Yeah. No big deal. Blood Clot. Damage up and range up. I like extra damage on every other shot. <laughs> Our damage is kind of nutty. I'm enjoying this, though. Still don't know how I feel about the, uh... Chest. It lives. Um, Isaac, the Cathedral. I don't know how I feel about that. Got the golden key, which means free keys stuff, free unlocking things. Max out our bombs again. No big deal. <laughs> oh, you shoot lasers. I forgot about you. Uh, use a bomb here, see if we find the secret room. Probably not, but it's worth checking anyway, right? Oh, yeah, definitely not, because um, couldn't access it through those other walls. we have? My reflection? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Range down! No thank you. Uh, not worth taking hits to get those pills. I mean, it could be if I actually knew like what those pills were. If I knew if they were good pills. But I don't. Look at that. Just look at how enormous those scythes are. Oh, so much damage. This is awesome. I need this much damage on every run. I gotta I gotta figure out what I can do or what I should do to like speed myself up and try and uh, beat the timer. That's quickly becoming one of my actual next goals. Like something I really do want to work on. Uh, don't care about petrified poop. We'll drop a bomb over there. Don't care about rusted key. Stick with my rosary bead. Sure, I'll take more useless money that I have no way of spending in the game. I'd love to kill something with Guppy's hairball and see if we can actually make it useful.
Boy, Robo Baby, you like just shooting, don't you? You're shooting crazy rapid fire. Why are we sh shooting so quickly? What effect do I have right now? The onion or something? Huh. It lives! We'll see how this goes. I don't have very high hopes for this fight. We do a obscene amount of damage. My damage is ridiculous. Kartoma, you're never fun to fight. All right. Sorry about bumping my microphone there. Um, all right, that's Mom's Heart slash It Lives dealt with. Let's go on to the cathedral here. Go find and defeat Isaac. Or Daddy Longlegs again. How you doing, Daddy Longlegs? You're a cool guy. You're just a bit of misunderstood. You know what? I understand. I, I know how it is. Oh, boy. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Do we see any tinted rocks in here? I don't think so. Hello. book is that? Not the Book of Belial. Book of... Oh, Satanic Bible, maybe? Yes! Ah, oh, free black heart. Once every six rooms. Ha oh, ha ha ha. Such a good item. I had... Probably my... Oh, and there's a Tinted Rock here. Probably my all-time favorite run is when I was using the Satanic Bible repeatedly. Oh man, the small rock, finally. Damage up. So... My damage is just ridiculous. And my tears pierce, so I can just murder these things. Look at that. Yeah, one of my favorite runs. I had the, uh, the sharp plug, which lets you take a hit, like, a, like lose a full heart or something, I'm assuming, um, in exchange for instantly filling up whatever your usable item is. And I had the Satanic Bible. So I could fully... Ch I could take a hit... Fully charge the Satanic Bible, and then use the Satanic Bible to get a Black Heart. So I was, uh... It, that was a really interesting run. I also had the Wafer, I believe, which meant that all damage I took was only, uh... half of a heart instead of a full heart. Regardless of me being, like, you know, in the womb or cathedral or whatever. It was really interesting. Sure, I can see forever. We'll use that. Range down. And all the rest of these are bad gas. But I could see forever means it's going to be worthwhile to just wander around in each of the rooms. Because we might find the other secret room. Also going to blow up all these fires because they have a pretty high chance of dropping soul hearts. And I have so many bombs, I don't know what to do with them. See, there's a soul heart. More greeds. Steam sale. Gee, thanks, game. Completely useless. Hey, there's our other secret room. And we get Mega Fatty again. Tried to poison him with my bad gas. Didn't really work out. That's okay, though. Didn't need to work out. It's kind of a useless spell. Not a very useful room. Cool, found the boss. Oh no. These exploding leeches are the worst. Okay, alright, it's okay. 
Whew, fully charged Satanic Bible. Let's see what we can do against Isaac here. I'm worried about the tears because I don't have any good protection. I don't have, like, uh, shielded tears or anything, which would be really nice. I have the Halo of Flies, so I have two orbitals. It's better than nothing, but it's not great. All right, phase three. Please don't hit me. Robo baby, yeah, you're doing your thing. Good, good work, baby. Good job, buddy. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Robo baby, kill it. Eehee. And because we have the lump of coal, I still do the most damage when I'm furthest away from the boss, like right at the edge of my range. So I do want to try to keep that in mind. Okay, all right, we, uh, I, th I think we did it, yeah. So Bloody Lust has been unlocked as an item, and I think we're going on to the chest. Bloody Lust, I don't know if that's actually the item that Samson starts with, it might be. We might have just unlocked the item that Samson has, so that other people can get it. Ah. All right, the chest. This place kind of sucks. So what do we got? Odd mushroom. More freaking damage. Yes, please. Taurus, speed down and rage is building. So every now and then I will just like go into crazy unicorn mode and do crazy damage to things. Doctor's remote. Interesting item. You can drop a... Yeah, that. I don't know. Not a huge fan of it. And then the prayer card, reusable eternity. So once every couple of rooms we can use this and get... A, uh, a half of an eternal heart there. I don't know. I don't think it's that great. It would be great if we had it, like, really early on in the game. That's a lot of fatties. Uh, it would have been good if we'd gotten it, like, really early in the game, but getting it in the chest seems not very helpful. All right, there's one down. That was Taurus, by the way, the invincibility thing. It's actually really good. Taurus is, like, an awesome, awesome sign. I, I really like... Hello. Uh, I, I really dig all of the Zodiac symbols. I think they're all really, really awesome. Oh, dang it. That wore off at just the wrong time. <laughs> Pulse worm, wub wub. We could have, uh, wub tears. Which is... Uh, fun novelty, but kind of pointless. Oh boy, double Mega Maw. Kill one, please. Please kill one. Thank you. Oh. This place is terrifying. Oh boy. Gertie Juniors. This is gonna suck because I don't have any knockback. Although my damage is crazy enough to make up for that. I don't know if there are secret rooms here. Apparently there are. Oh, greed. What do you know? That was not particularly difficult. I don't know why I'm grabbing all that money. It's really pointless. Hey, yeah, look at this room. That's when it's really good to have piercing tears. <laughs> the world. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna hold on to it. This might be a really bad idea. I could use it to find out where the boss is. Or I could save it for when we're fighting the blue baby and, uh get all my health back in the event that I'm not doing so hot in there. Oh, that sucked. Oh, boy. This is not a boss that I like to fight. 
times two. The, the Wretched, I think he's called. Alright, I gotta keep a really, really close eye on my HP now. One more. Oh, that was really close. More champion Gertie Juniors. Kill one of them, please. I don't care which one. Kill one. Kill one. Please kill one. Thank you. Oh, dang it. Uh... Okay, I can take one hit again. And it's not even the dingle boss, it's just the large poops. Oh boy. Uh, we're gonna use the world card. Wait, did the world card not do what I thought it was going to do? Why did I not get my HP back? Oh, it was the world, not the sun. Oh, duh. I feel really stupid now. I was mixing up the world and the sun. The sun is the one I was thinking of that does the awesome stuff. The world just gives you the map and not anything else. <sighs> I guess it's blue baby time. It's probably too much to hope for. All right, blue baby, very, very similar to Isaac. My tears are doing massive, massive damage. Uh, he also throws in, um, like some, uh, homing tears. That's the whole blue baby thing. Those are kind of terrifying. Oh, and you do that, apparently. Okay, that was actually, like, really surprisingly easy. We unlocked the Blood Penny, and we get to watch this ending again. What a strange ending. That was a surprisingly good run. I'm sad that uh, I kind of derped around a little bit at the beginning and we just barely missed out on uh, whatever that timer thing is. Um, I will get there one of these days, I promise. It will happen. Anyway... So that's our second chest victory. We won once with Eden and once with Samson, of all people. So that's really cool. And they've each won uh, all four areas. That's awesome. I'm, I'm digging this. Uh, yeah, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.